Hello and welcome to another video of Prof. Paul B. Uh, today we'll be looking at how to use Microsoft Word to create a uh, class diagram. I know there are some tools like Visio or Rational Rows that allow you to create class diagrams, but we're going to look at how to do it with Microsoft Word. Okay, so recently in one of my Java classes, uh, we worked and created a, uh, a class diagram for a door. So, and I, the picture that I took from the class is that we can see it right now. And the door has one, two, three, four, five attributes. These are the attributes that we discussed. There could be many more, but we, we stopped at this. So these attributes are has lock as a boolean, is locked as a boolean, material, if it's wood or steel, for example, is a string, is open as boolean, and has handle as boolean. And you'll notice that uh, all of the attributes or properties are in the top portion of the diagram right below the title which is door with a capital D and that represents the class the class name actually and below we see that we have one two three four five six seven actually con um, methods uh, the first two are constructors so we can see actually it's an overloaded constructor and remember a constructor is a method it's a special type of method and uh, the, our first constructor door has no uh, parameters. Our second one has one parameter, a string parameter, to specify the material of the door. The uh, next uh, method is open, and it doesn't return anything. It returns void and close as well. Does not return anything. And we have a can open method that returns a boolean, whether it returns true or false, whether or not we can open the door. There is a method called lock. Uh, that returns void and unlock that is also a void method. So we see now that uh, what we'd like to do is it's easy to create this on the board and we also have the, um, the plus signs here next to the methods which uh, denotes that they are public attributes or public methods actually sorry. So let's take a look at how to do this in Microsoft Word. So we'll move this over a little bit. I have Word running here in the background. We'll move this over and let me let me create see if I can fit everything on the same thing let me cr a new blank document double click and what I'm going to do is I'm going to insert a table and I'm going to go here to table and I'm going to go to straight insert table I want two columns and 13 rows Let's see, well, let's see, let's count this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. That's correct. And so now I click OK. Well, first thing we see that this t that word puts the table the same width as the printable page. So we're going to make this just a little bit smaller. Why two columns? Well, the first column I am going to put the for the uh, um, the visibility attributes, the plus and and minus, or the, the plus in this case, because it, I want it to line up. I want things to line up. So in order to line up, it's a lot easier just to put a a um, just to put a, a a column there just for that purpose. Okay. So for the first first, we're going to put the title, and you'll notice this looks kind of strange if we look at our diagram here door is on its own row there's no there aren't two cells on the door so what we can do is we can s see what I did is actually put the cursor here I push down on shift and then put the cursor here and and what that does is that actually selects both cells and what I'm going to do is I'm going to come here I right clicked and I'm going to merge cells and now we see that door that the the, the very first row is only one cell as opposed to two cells. And I'm going to go here, I'm going to click on home, and what I want is I want this to be centered. So I think I might have to make it a little bit, oh, here, it's right here. So the door, I want the door to appear in the center. Okay, so now we have, so far so good. So now I am just going to start copying some information over from the picture. I'm going to have, uh, let's see now, let's see now, the first one is has lock, and it's a boolean. The second one is is locked. That's also a boolean. 
oops, you don't press enter, you actually, you can, I think you can press tab, yeah, oh, tab will bring you to that cell, we'll just click inside the cell, and material, and this one we'll put uh, boolean, oops, um, now we'll put door, and we'll put door, Oh, you know what? I think I forgot one. Okay, let's see. After material, I forgot two. So let's, let me just do this. Do cut. And I'll come here and do a paste. And here is, is open, which is a Boolean. And here has handle. Oops. Which is also a boolean. Okay, so now we have our first constructor, our no argument constructor. Now we're going to put a one arg constructor that is going to um, material. And what type is material? The type is string and constructors do not have a return type. Open is going to be a void method. Close, also a void method. Uh, can open. This is going to be a boolean. And uh, lock which is going to be void and unlock which is going to be void. Okay. So notice actually if you do, if you come to this uh, point and you realize actually I can I can make it a little bit smaller to make it look better. And if you realize that uh, you forgot an attribute or or method, then you can you can simply right click and if you go here into insert, you could actually insert a row above or below the currently selected row. So you can use this uh, to select to select a, to create new row as needed. Okay, so now what we're going to do is we're going to put all of the plus beside the all of the methods. So here I'm just going to do plus plus plus, down arrow, plus, down arrow, plus, down arrow, plus, down arrow, plus. Okay, so, so far it's not too bad, but it, it doesn't look all that good because there's a lot, there's a lot too many lines. If you look on the right, there's, o there only should be line, uh, one line separating the, the name of the class with the attributes and another line separating the uh, attributes from the methods. And also, we have this line that's separating the visibility, the pluses, with the actual um, names of methods and attributes, and that doesn't look so good. So I'll show you. Uh, let's take a look at how to get rid of those. First, we'll get rid of all of the lines, the interior lines. So what did you click on this cell, and then hold down the Shift key, and then click on the bottom right cell as well. So that selects all of the cells that selects all of the cells within within the uh, the table that we want to work with. So now right click and go to borders and shading and uh, what you want to do is you want to remove the two middle cells like that. Th the two middle lines I should say like that. So now it's only going to have the lines on the outside. So now if we take a look we see that that's, that's what we have. All of the lines are, are gone except for the perimeter uh, but we do want where we do want the line is we do want the line above these two cells. So again, mouse down, hold down shift, and mouse down here. Right click again. Um, go to borders and shading. And now for the border, we want it on the top of this one. So click on the top, and then click OK. So you see now we have something that's starting to look pretty good. And what we could do as well is we, maybe we can make this just a little bit closer. And uh, one thing that would look very nice is if we had uh, the, there was a shading on the door. So let's just do that. Uh, borders and shading again. But this time 
we will look at the shading part. And we will go here, go to shading, and select the color. We'll select this light blue. You click on OK. And there we have it. A UML class diagram created in Word. That looks pretty good. Uh, now I want to show you if you want to create more than one, let's say, and you want to have to display these side by side. Well, what you can do is you can actually create a um, another table, and I'll do a two by one table. And what you can do is let's select, click on this this placeholder, and we'll do a Control X to, for cut and we'll do a control V for paste and now this um, diagram is within, was within the cell and now we can actually paste another one. This could be a different one. This could could be let's say uh, I don't know a chair or diagram or whatever and what we can do as well is let's select this table and I want to center it within this cell. I could go to home and then center click on this table click on the placeholder, center, and now that looks pretty good but these lines are not, I'm not too crazy about these lines, but click on that table, right click, do the um, borders and shading, and for the borders you can click on none, and click OK, and now we have two class diagrams side by side th that are independent. If we wanted to change this one, we could actually change it to as much as we want. And uh, this will look very good uh, as a printout. So that's it for today. And uh, thanks a lot for watching this episode. And uh, stay tuned to Prof. Paul B. for any future videos. Thanks a lot.